Welcome back. We've had a warmer day today. Windy conditions. You can tell those windy conditions are out here in Spokane. Our camera is even shaking right now. Partly cloudy skies and we are going to continue seeing those windy conditions as we head overnight. We are hearing some uh, reports of blowing dust out there as well. So just be aware if you're driving anywhere, you could see some patchy blowing dust out on the roadways. 51 degrees overnight. Partly cloudy skies. Those winds out of the southwest 20 to 30 miles per hour. So still pretty strong. 71 for our high tomorrow. We're going to see clearing skies throughout the day. We'll start out a little bit cloudy, clear to sunny skies by the afternoon. Those winds should be a lot calmer out of the southwest, 5 to 10 miles per hour by tomorrow afternoon. Our high today, 78 degrees, a low of 54. Usually our high is 72, so a little bit above average, and we're going to start dropping back closer to average as we head through this week. Still 78 in Spokane. Winds fairly strong out of the southwest, 24 miles per hour. Those gusts up to 36 miles miles per hour and in Coeur d'Alene 79 degrees winds moving west southwest 24 miles per hour gusts up to 33 miles per hour so a windy day throughout the inland northwest and we do have that strong cold front pushing through right now that's what's bringing us those windy conditions it's also going to bring us you can see there's a little bit of moisture associated with this system that's going to push over the cascades bringing some slight chances of showers to the northern mountains and into the northern panhandle as we head into the evening hours here in Spokane looks like we're just going to see a little bit of cloud coverage from that system. Now all of that is from that cold front. What's going to happen next is that's going to push out of the region, leaving an air mass over our region, a cool air mass, I should say. That's going to take our temperatures into the low 70s for most of the week. However, we're going to see mostly clear and sunny skies. It's also going to bring our winds uh, much calmer out of the south up to 5 to 10 miles per hour. Tonight, showers to the north around Sandpoint and Bonners Ferry. Windy conditions throughout the region. Those temperatures in the 40s and 50s, 70s in Omac and Moses Lake tomorrow. Sunny skies, a little cooler here in Spokane and Coeur d'Alene, dropping into the 60s to the north, partly cloudy. Then we are going to see those clearing skies by the afternoon. Partly cloudy for the Northeast Mountains and the Northern Panhandle of Idaho. You can see those temperatures dropping just a little bit into the low 70s and upper 60s. Showers possible for Western Montana, mostly cloudy in Pullman, Moscow, and Lewiston, just as that uh, cold front continues to push to the east of us. 70s for Portland, 60s in Seattle, 70s in Yakima tomorrow. We are going to see those dry and mild conditions to start out our work week in the 70s, and we're going to stay in the 70s for most of the week. We're going to see chilly mornings, though, as we head into Tuesday and Wednesday. Here in Spokane, we'll be in the 40s. Some areas could see some freezing, especially those lower <gasps> valley areas. What? It's going to be a little cool. Uh -oh over the next couple mornings so just be aware of that and then we are going to see those temperatures climb back up on Thursday with some slight chances of showers as we head into Friday staying in the 60s for the weekend. That's uh, a cool weekend. It is gonna be pretty cool and you know it's pretty cool this guy this is our weekend whiskers this is milk bone the long-haired <laughs> chihuahua and he's adorable thank you for sending that in and if you want to see your pet on weekend whiskers you can email me Alyssa D at kxly.com they call him milk or bone for short I don't know I should ask <laughs> All right. milky milky I like it yeah. thanks Alyssa